This is a little video I made up to do a little drill I call Ride the Pretzel. It'll kind of help you help your horse set himself in an arc shape so you can ride him forward, backwards, and in circles in a perfect arc shape. I start by shaping him to the left. As you can see here, I put my left leg against his rib cage, put my eyes to the left, set my hands a little to the left, and I just urge him to ride forward. My eyes are locked on the cone, and I try to maintain a perfect 10-foot circle or a perfect 5-foot radius. I can always see the left inside eye of my horse as I compel him to ride forward. My left leg is firmly against his rib cage, compelling him to want to bend around my left leg. I urge him with my right leg, and I try to keep my eyes on that cone and maintain that five foot radius. So as I come around here, what I've done is picked up my left frame, put my left foot back, and drop myself right into a backup position and my eyes are locked down on that cone. I try to be aware that I keep that nose pointed just a little bit to the left so he maintains that arc shape as he backs. As he's backing around, I reach back with my left foot, give him a little bump, and as we get right about here, I just drop my left leg away, turn my eyes to the left, roll my horse around to pivot on the left hind foot, riding back forward and forward around the circle. My eyes lock back down on the cone again. And I ride him forward, I come around, try to know where the center is between my two cones. And when I get to center, I pick him up, change his shape, shape him to the right, now my eyes are shaped right, my right leg is against him, my left leg is compelling him to move forward, to shape himself around my right leg, and as I move myself forward, and as I come to the center, I pick up the right rein, put my right foot back, compel him to pivot on his right front foot, lock my eyes on the cone, squat down and compel him to back up, keeping my eyes on the cone, trying to maintain a five foot radius on a 10 foot circle. I reach back with my right foot if I have to, give him a little bump, try to keep him looking right. And as I approach center, change my gaze. I look to the right, pivot on a right hind foot, come back around, maintain a right arc shape, ride the horse forward, maintain a 10 foot circle, keep my eyes on the cone, maintain a five foot radius, now he's bending around my right leg, and as I approach the center now, I'll start into the count counter bend. Right rein comes up, right foot will go forward, and I compel his shoulders to move to my left. My gaze, my eyes are looking left at this stage. So I'm looking at about a 45 degree angle off to the left. Urge the horse forward, I got my right foot a little bit forward, and I just kind of wave and maybe tap and bump him a little bit. When I get right about here to center, boom, fall right back into a right forward circle. I've never left the shape of the horse. He's always been arced to the right. He rides himself forward. He comes around, comes to center. As he gets to center, I'm still looking right. Then right about here, I just changed my eyes to the left, and that horse changed his shape. Now my left leg went against him. I ride him forward. We come around the cone. He's maintaining a left arc. My left leg's against. Right leg is urging forward. And as I come to center, my eyes shape to the right. I start to counter bend him around. I'm looking off to my right. He's still looking left. My left leg has gone forward. So it's gone left rein up, left foot forward urge him along, kind of reach out with my right, give him a little bump to kind of guide him that way if I have to. As we approach center, I just simply change my gaze back to the left, put my left leg against him, compel him to ride forward, bump with my right, ride the horse forward. He's still looking a little to the left without over arcing, without over pulling. I want him to be super soft in my hands. Left rein comes up, left foot goes back. Drive the hip around, squat down, go into a backup position. Eyes are locked on the cone, so I always know where the center of my circle is. I back my horse up. I back him some more, my eyes, and then I decide to change my gaze and roll him out halfway through the circle. Got a little bit off of the center there a little bit. Come back to the center, change his arc. Go around this cone for a little bit to the right. Right ring comes up, right foot goes back, halfway through the circle. Bring his hip all the way around. 
lock your eyes down on the cone so you know where the center of your circle is. Squat down, back up, all in one fluid motion. Back your horse around. Looks like we're gonna do about a quarter of a circle, roll him on out. Fall back onto the circle and ride him forward. So he never knows from one point to the next if I'm gonna ride him forward in a circle, ride him forward in a counter bend. Ask him to swing his hip, counter bend, back around a circle. I always keep my horse watching, listening, thinking, asking, what's this guy gonna ask me to do next? Here I stopped him straight, backed him straight up, and said, you know something, buddy? You did a real good job. Thank you.